five double doubles in his last eight games. Kids playing at a heck of a level for Coach Paul Mills. Dakota Bank starting lineup for North Dakota State. Edie Griesel, Cook, Nelson, and Cruiser. Very experienced bunch for North Dakota State. A lot of starts. Cruiser around to Lufile, and he picks up an early foul just 16 seconds into this first half. And I think that's where Lufile can get exposed with these North Dakota State bigs. Their ability to put the ball on the deck. How good is Lufile at moving laterally and trying to stay in front of these bigs? First test goes North Dakota State's way. Cruiser in the quarterfinals on Saturday night. Solid again, has been pretty much all season long. First team all Summit League. His 157th game, 22 points, six boards against the Pioneers. And Brian, think about this. Edie, offensive board, extra possession. Think about this. Bison Biggs bringing Lufile out on the perimeter. Bison guards posting up some smaller defenders. Creasel on the drive. When crashing into a cameraman, no one looks worse for the wear, so that's important. 3 0 start for North Dakota State, starting lineup. That's good toughness by the cameraman. Way to stay in the game. Starting lineup for ORU. Acemas, young man to watch. Edie starting out on Acemas, and watch Edie shading Acemas' right hand. He's so good, but he's got to take away his strong hand to minimize his effectiveness if possible. Cook trying to stay with McBride. Shot clock to two, fade away, splash. That is McBride's game, his ability to get in the paint. That's a tough finish over the top of Cook. Nelson, foul, got it! We talked about it. NDSU's bigs bringing the ORU bigs on the perimeter, putting the ball on the deck. Drawing some contact, look at the finish. Getting up through it, keeps his eyes up on the rim. Watch this, after the contact, doesn't give up on the plate, keeps his eyes focused on the rim, chance to complete the three-point play. So an early foul for Lufile, an early foul for Lotsis, the two starting bigs for Oral Roberts. Something to watch here, as we have just started play in this first half. A little full court pressure, not really looking to trap, but maybe trying to keep the ball out of Aspis's hands early. Now watch Edie, he's gonna sit on Aspis's right hand. Force him to beat him, going left. He's capable. Edie got the block. Acemas recovers. How about Edie's ability to stay in front of Acemas? Thompson fading away. Battle for the rebound comes to Griezel. Nelson racing down. Floor! Got it! How about the catch and the soft finish by the 6'11"? Young man out of Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Buys it off to a hot start. McBride going to work on Cook again. No. Griesel another rebound. Bison looking to push once again. Good job by Griesel to continue to push. Pro pull it back out when he sees they have no advantage. We'll see how they spread ORU out again. Cruiser trying to get position with Ace Smith. A mismatch underneath. Cook lost it almost. Got it out to Edie. Cook, no one picked him up. Three-pointer, yes! Great recognition by Edie. Great relocation by Jarius Cook. Fills the vacuum behind Tyree Edie's dribble penetration. Nice kick out by the upperclassman. Levison already cooking. Four for four from the floor to start. Acemas looking to answer. Well off on the three. Lufile, one of the best offensive rebounders in the nation, has his first. Well, we talked about it. You know, what, 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 what do these teams have to do? Oral Roberts, get Acemas going early, get into an offensive rhythm if possible. So far, NDSU's keeping them off balance. North Dakota State, defensive game plan execution we talked about. Sit on Acemas' right hand, take away his strengths, and then get on the defensive glass. You just talked about Lufile getting after it, collecting an offensive board. North Dakota State's gonna have to limit those. Those keys brought to you by BillionAuto.com. Lufile heads to the bench. Deshang Weaver checking in, and Acemas rising up for three. That's Cruiser got switched on him. He's got to know the game plan as well as Edie does. Got to get out there, run him off to that three-point line. Cruiser on the deck again, fouled. Thompson going to be whistled for it, and two more free throws coming up for Rocky Cruiser. The Bison have really been in attack mode. They really have, and it's been the bigs. Cruiser, this is the second time he's drawn contact. They call Kareem Thompson. Deshaun Weaver in the game for Lufile, as you mentioned, Brian. 
But these bigs are a tough matchup on the perimeter. Sixth meeting all time in the Summit League tournament between these programs. Had some memorable ones, most of them in the Summit League semifinals, like tonight. Yeah, it's been an annual event. The NDSU ORU Summit League matchup. Here's are one of two at the strike. Bison, one of the best free throw shooting teams in the nation, leads the Summit League 77% coming in. Naismith using the screen. NDSU switching the ball screen action. There you see Cruiser sitting on his right hand. Aismith backs him off and buries it. Breaking ankles there on <laughs> Cruiser. <laughs> yes. That's what Aismith can do, even when you're trying to take away his strength. He can create space, as good a shooter as there is in the country. Nelson going to work. Baby hook. And Grant Nelson, a mismatch for just about everybody in the Summit League. Absolutely, just so difficult to defend. Aismith misfires this time. Jarius Cook pulls down the rebound. Right, Cook getting out. Nice find in transition. Nelson with the field and five of 26 from three. Much better start here so far for Max. Already two triples in the first four minutes. Yeah, it is. And both times is when he got matched up in a switch situation. One of the longer defenders from North Dakota State. Golden Scunberg checking in. And when Edie is not on Ace Miss, it will be Scunberg. That's going to be the defensive game plan for North Dakota State. Exactly. He's demonstrated the ability to, to stay in front of Ace Miss at times. Did a great job. Actually, one of those in that game in Fargo. He actually had crowd members for North Dakota State cheering Scunberg's defensive effort on Ace Miss. Carlos Jurgens checking in for the first time was a starter at the end of last season. Played some big minutes in the NCAA tournament. Has come off the bench with the emergence of some other players on the roster, McBride being one of them. Griesel dropping it off, Cruiser collects, going to work inside on Lotsis. Excellent job of gathering, getting his feet underneath him and up and over the outstretched arms of Lotsis, as you mentioned. Tough finish in traffic for Cruiser. Now Oral Roberts still doesn't have a stop on defense. Weaver rising up for three, yes. Deshang Weaver really struggling coming into this tournament. Was just 6 of 34 from the field in his last seven games, but three big threes last night. Confidence much better coming into this contest. Absolutely is. Now you get a little 1 3 1 half court trap, changing things up defensively. Good move by Mills. They weren't slowing him down, and man, Scudberg hits for three. Excellent job getting the ball to the top of the zone, and Griesel, quick reversal to Scudberg, buries the three. A. Smith backing down Griesel. Jurgens with a step on Nelson, but a block. <laughs> Nelson's leg so difficult to get around. Cruz are going to work on Lotsis again. Baby hook finally missed one. That was halfway down and out. Actually, a really good look. A. Smith missed everything that time. Much better job that time. By Cruisers, he got matched up on Aismas on the ball screen switch action, stayed down and didn't leave the ground until after Aismas elevated for his shot with his length. He has the ability to do that. Great job of contesting ORU back into straight man. Oral Roberts, 44 points in the paint last night against Western Illinois. Really took advantage with Lufile. Just two so far in this first half tonight. He goes back to the length of North Dakota State, forcing some kickouts off of dribble penetration. We like this matchup with Cruiser, with Lotsis, to Max. Aismas battling with Harden Hayes. Good box out there on Harden Hayes by Aismas, and Trey Phipps, who just checked in a minute ago, has the rebound. Phipps will let it go from behind the arc. Aismas kick out, Weaver collects. Back-to-back -back air balls for that, Oral Roberts. That was rushed on the kick out, as you mentioned. Weaver trying to get it up quickly, missed everything. Gunberg posting, stepping through. No, Nelson put back. And that's just, Scunberg created that by getting deep, forcing the help to rotate, allows Nelson free run at the backside in the offensive glass. Vips off balance, will head to the line for two. First foul on North Dakota State, and it will be on Sam Griesel. 
And if there's one player to watch for foul trouble, it is Griezel with Desmond McKinney yep. tearing his ACL late in the season against Kansas City. Not a lot of options defensively specifically for Griezel, but even for someone to run the offense if he has to come off the floor. I agree with you, Brian. And, and, and to be honest with you, I don't know. I did not talk to the staff, but it almost feels in my mind that they may really look at Edie yeah. if they need to rest Griezel because they trust him. They trust him to make good decisions. They may not say play with the same pace, but I think they'll trust his discipline taking care of the ball. Phipps. His first couple of points. Cuts the lead down to 11. Andrew Morgan checking in for the first time. He laid back on the floor for ORU. Nice little hesitation by Griezel. Blows by Lufile. Lufile did not want to pick up that second foul. Did his best to defend. Just a little hesitation. Stood the filet up and blew by him. Scornberg sitting on that right hand of Acemus. Acemus collects. Jurgens caught in the lane. We saw the length of Nelson, thought better of it. Lotsis to Jurgens. Shot clock to five. Blocked again by Nelson. The second time he's been swatted by the sophomore. Nelson just stays down, uses his length, maintains discipline. Oh, look at that. Handles. Are they going to call foul? Yes. Offensive foul on Nelson. And the tough one there is I think Nelson kind of lost his balance. I don't think he intentionally initiated that contract. I think he contacted. He lost his balance a little bit. Cleared space. Here he kind of he loses his footing. Easy call in front of the official. That's the right one. Good job by Max Aismas to get position. One of the more underrated parts of this Oral Roberts squad has been the Golden Eagles defense. They've always been able to score the second in the Southern League in defensive field goal percentage, and Max Aismas to the rim. How about his ability to slither between three bigger defenders, finish at the rim? It's just crazy. Foul's going to be called. Talked about that. I mean, they, they demonstrated that focal point early using Cruiser and Nelson to attack off the bounce. Jarius Cook checking back into the game for North Dakota State. Riesel surveying, tipped away by Jurgens. Nice move on the baseline, swatted away, and shot clock might run out. Did Griesel get it off? He did. How about Griesel staying after it? That's a heck of an effort. Coach Mills not happy. Clearly beat the shot clock. And he's going to get Edie, who's matched up on the Acemas. Watch Griezel stays with it. I think Weaver rotates, get a piece, gets a piece of it. You can watch him as he regains control. Stays with it. Ball's clearly out of his hand. Aismas around Edie. That's the key. Can you stay down on Aismas' shot breaks? Phipps blocked by Cook. Excellent shot just to elevate verticality. Griesel in transition. Boom! Oh, Sam Griesel up to nine points. The lead to 15. Aismas got moving to his right. Excellent job of defending at the rim. Straight up, hands high. Not bailing out. Aismas with a foul. Aismas so good, so difficult to stop. North Dakota State doing a heck of a job early. Aismas three of eight from the floor. Griesel again gets the step. <laughs> oh gosh, just attacking off the bounce. No help side, anywhere to be found. North Dakota State shooting 75% from the floor. Well, the funny thing about it is, Cruiser challenging another block. Lufile missed the putback. And a foul is going to be called, and who will it be on? It'll be on Rocky Cruiser. His first. Watch this. Good job defending at the rim. Cruiser comes up. A lot of ball. Lufile short arms it. Then they get in and mix it up again. And there, Cruiser kind of gets called for the. Contact on the arm. 
North Dakota State in the first 10 minutes already five blocks sending a message to Oral Roberts. Well, and, and in order to get those, you've got to stay disciplined enough to stay down until they get into their shooting motion. North Dakota State's demonstrated that to this point. Now Cook draws the assignment on McBride. He checked back in. Dangerous score. Spinning again. Bruant rims off. Lufile tangled up with Cruiser. Big bodies in the painted area. Going to battle. Look off a ball movement for Cruiser to attack off the bounce. Aismas. It's going to be a blocking foul on Aismas. Trying to draw another charge on Cruiser. That would have been a big whistle. Would have been Cruiser's second had it been offensive. Yeah, it would have been. And I just I think. Rockies, it was a right decision on his part to, part to kind of stay in, in attack mode. He tries to move around Aismas. Aismas slides underneath. Both guys go to the ground. I will say this with Aismas. Throughout conference play, when he gets switched off in a bigger player, he does a really good job in the post of playing position and making it difficult on taller players. Brian, I, I completely agree with you. The number of times he does get scored on in the post is amazingly low. However, Sam Riesel scores Quite often on a lot of different guys on the post up if you're not going to send a second body his way Griesel and Nelson have combined for 23 points an 8 run for North Dakota State Much needed bucket on the other end as McBride drills the three and That's what McBride and Aismas can do is they can Warm up heat up quickly from behind the arc North Dakota State can they maintain their pace? little zone look again Cook no Cruiser kept it alive for a moment, and Aismas tracks it down. Boy, are you trying to change things up defensively, and it's a good decision. McBride step back three. That's well off the mark. Lufile got another offensive rebound, but Nelson able to secure it. That's twice that you, Lufile has gotten the offensive rebound. Nelson for three. Missed it. Tried to track down his own miss. Lufile, another rebound. Aismas, corner triple. Wow. So good. He probes. Realize he's got he's got Cruiser, the 6'10. Defender for North Dakota State on him. Creates space, buries the corner three. Zone look again for ORU. Can they get inside the zone? Cruiser, little baby hook. Nice find from Tyree Eady. Excellent job by Eady. Gets the touch. High post. Turns, looks, sets up his teammate for the short jumper. McBride crossing over, stepping through on Cook. Sessions. So he's banged up. Something has happened with Lewis Garrison. He is no longer to go. So Brian McNutt, the sub, who is over on the chair by the scores table, will now come into the game. Yep, and, and, and what's interesting is in, back in the bowels of the Lady Sample Premier Center, I had seen Lewis Garrison riding a stationary bike prior to the game to try to maybe get something loosened up. So it could be, could be a nagging injury from uh, maybe some previous action. Or are you back in their zone look? You know, this time of the year, Greg, these officials are going six, seven yeah. nights a week. I mean, there's conference tournaments everywhere. They're flying all over. That's right. They're, they're, they want to make sure they stay in as good a shape as possible. Or are you keeping the ball out of the middle of this zone? There they find Skunberg. Skunberg defended by Luffy Lake. Edie lets it fly, and Luffy Lake grabs the rebound. Andrew Morgan, as you mentioned, back into the game. Also checking in Sir Isaac Heron for the first time. McBride step back. Morgan shakes off Luffy Lake and grabs the rebound. Good look. Advance with the pass. Greasel attacks. Sam Griesel up to 14 points here in the first half. Doing it mostly off the bounce. We saw him hit a knockdown of three in transition, but just great recognition getting inside the zone. Aismas gets Edie on his hip. Banged. Got it. Came down awkwardly, it looks like, on an ankle potentially. Hopefully nothing serious for Max Aismas. Yeah, you hope it's not. Like you say, it looks like his, kind of his feet went out from underneath him. I thought he did actually a pretty good job of Elevating and kind of maybe elevating almost into Edie a little bit. But his ability to create enough space to elevate and knock down the shot. There's, there's a reason he's been one of the top top scorers in the country the last couple of years. 
Asmus, over 1,800 career points now. He has 14 to lead the way. McBride has seven. The rest of the team just four. Those two guys have really been carrying the load to at least keep this game within striking distance. Down to a 12-point lead. Scunberg gives it up Morgan, and he traveled. He kind of bobbled the catch, which is fine, but when he did get control, that's when he took the extra step. Nice find by Scunberg. Morgan is not able to corral. Been alerted that Lewis Garrison did do the Penn State Rutgers game yesterday. Thank you, Chad Berger, for the update. There's a guy that knows officials. Where officials are oh at. my goodness. <laughs> That's right. He's got a map with pins all over. Yes, he does. Ace Ace mm. Tough. Dangerous. Dangerous. This is why ORU is never out of a game. And this is the, the key with the zone for ORU. It's really taken the pace, slowed the pace down for NDSU, where they were really in rhythm offensively against man. This has forced them to slow the tempo. Malik Harden Hayes for three. That rattles off, and Weaver up for the rebound. That's the first time we've seen NDSU settle for just passing the ball around the perimeter. He's must get deep inside again. Wow! Getting the friendly shooter's bounce, and Max Aismas is carrying Oral Roberts. <laughs> He's used to it. He's done it many, many times. He has 18 first half points. Cruiser checking back into the game on the last dead ball. He's going to go at Lufile. Buys an answer. Back to 10. Much needed. Great recognition. Get an inside touch. They settled for just passing it around the perimeter. Forced that zone to collapse. Cruiser with a one on one situation. Gets by Lufile. Aceness again pulling up. Finally missed one. Griesel with the rebound. You think Aceness is going to tire. Nice find in transition. Nelson hesitates and then scores over a much smaller defender in McBride. But that's Nelson sprinting the floor, getting position, and great recognition by Skunberg to dump it in right away. Much tougher to set up the zone, too, when you're not taking the ball out of your own basket for North Dakota State. McBride tracks down his own miss. Lottis is going to pull the trigger short. Harden Hayes with the rebound. That's good recognition, and now North Dakota State They've got to make sure that they continue to stay in attack mode. ORU jumps back into man. Harden Hayes, nice lob pass inside. Lotsis comes to help. Kicks out. Griesel wide open. Yes! Harden Hayes, great decision. Realizing he had not only a second, but a third defender collapsing on him. Kicks it out. Griesel continues his torrid pace. These two point guards are putting on an absolute show, and it's a 7-0 run for NDSU and a foul on Skunberg, and that will be the seventh team foul on North Dakota State, and a one-on-one -on -one opportunity coming up for Max Aismas. Oh, this is ability, and Skunberg trying to get over the top of the Lufile screen. Brian, there are some screens that are easy to get over. Lufile is not one of them. Mm. <laughs> that dude has some girth. Max Aismas has scored the last seven Oral Roberts points. We'll try to add two more here. Excellent free throw shooter, 85%, one of the best in the Summit League. And he drills it. You're starting to see them get Lufili involved in the ball screen action earlier, basically just coming across half court. And that's something where you might think, well, oh, yeah, uncharacteristic miss. Should mention, too, that Aismas with his three threes has now hit 300 career triples at Oral Roberts. That's a lot. Oh, back to man for ORU. North Dakota State had been kind of dissecting that zone the last few possessions. Cruiser. Thompson, good box out on Nelson. That immediate timeout coming up the next dead ball. There you see the early ball screen action. Trying to get lots of involved in a little pick and pop. Cruiser sitting on Aismas again. McBride a step on Griesel, challenging at the rim. Rising up and floating in the teardrop. That's a heck of a finish by McBride. People look at Aismas and go, man, he's really good. How, how complimentary is McBride to the game of Aismas? It's just to have two guys like that on the floor capable of doing so much off the bounce. Cruiser singled up on Lotsis. He's going to pull up over him. Air ball. Yeah, missed everything. Chance to cut this to single digits now for ORU as McBride gets singled up on Cruiser. 
Cruz are trying to challenge McBride back-to-back -back buckets. Actually, those, that backcourt has been impressive, but they've also done a nice job here over the last five or six minutes, David, of mixing and matching defenses. They went to a zone to kind of hide Acemas, who was getting posted up a number of times. Good counter by North Dakota State, going with a high-low, forcing Oral Roberts out of that zone defense. Should be a fun final 245. Back to Brian and Greg. Thanks so much, fellas. Jurgens matched up with Griesel. Shot clock down to eight. Trying to muscle his way inside and finally missed one. And the second foul on Rocky Cruiser. That's one where he's got to maintain a level of discipline not to go up and get an unnecessary foul. That's going to put ORU on the line with the bonus on this end. So Cook with two, Cruiser with two, and Edie with two. Dave Richmond will try to get into halftime with a couple of his studs on the bench. Yeah, this is where you just have to handle it, get through it. And Lotsis, that's only his 14th free throw attempt of the season. He's only made six coming in and misses the front end. Well, he doesn't spend a lot of time in the post. He doesn't put the ball on the deck and attack too often. He's a catch and shoot big. Cook over Ace Miss. Really good defense and by this, Max Ace Miss. And this is where they're trying to do too much work too early in the possession. Force ORU to defend side to side. There's Lotsis. He pulls up short. But get a quality possession, ball reversal. Force this ORU team to, to have to defend a little bit. Go from help side to ball side. See if you can't create an open lane that you can attack off the bounce. Been a while since Grand Nelson's had a touch. Now he's got it. Tried to find Harden Hayes. Harden Hayes not looking for it in a turnover. Yeah, Harden Hayes was going back cut. This is one of those little lulls for North Dakota State offensively. Third turnover for North Dakota State. ORU only with one. Neither one of these teams force many turnovers. Oral Roberts just two assists in this first half. It's been all Eastman's kind of one-on-one. -on -one. Going to work again. Lost it going up. Got it back. Blocked. Out of bounds. We'll go to NDSU. That was a good job of defending without fouling. As you said, Acemas lost it, but then came down with it. Here's the rule. If it's a shot attempt, you can come down with it, even if it doesn't hit the rim. People don't like that rule, but great job by NDSU to not foul and bail out Acemas, who's so dangerous when he goes to the rim. These last few possessions, so important, Greg. Ten-point lead. Can North Dakota State extend? Can Oral Roberts cut it down to maybe six or eight, potentially? Exactly. I couldn't agree more. Just a lot of stagnation right now by North Dakota State offensively. Riesel in traffic. Just wills that one off the glass. Sam Griesel up to 19 points in this half. He averages 13 and a half on the season. Jurgen's good position, answers quickly. Exactly, does the exact same thing right up over the top of Cook. North Dakota State probably wants to get a, make sure they get a shot off so they can guarantee themselves the last possession. I think Dave Richmond wants some quick movement. Harden Hayes rising up on the baseline. Nelson fighting for the rebound and Lotsis tracks it down. Jurgens backing down Cook again. Nelson keeping an eye on him. Lotsis has missed his first couple of threes. Got that one to drop. And that cuts the lead back to seven. Big shot for ORU. How much momentum can they take into halftime? Sam Griesel going to get North Dakota State the last shot. Dave Richmond calling out a set. Looks like they'll run maybe some ball screen action. Maybe just an ISO for Grant Nelson with Lotsis guarding him. They'll probably send him at about Five, six. Lotsis will give the foul. That is his second with eight seconds to go. Next one will be the bonus for North Dakota State. We'll see if they try to run Nelson into the high post again and basically go kind of a one-four flat. Only player with two fouls for Oral Roberts. Lotsis. Rising up over Lotsis. Oh my goodness, Sam Griesel. 48-39. North Dakota State, Oral Roberts will start with the basketball. ORU just 38% from the field, but seven offensive rebounds, plus two in turnover margin. Giving the Eagles some extra opportunities to hang in this game. Yeah, next, enough extra shots. We're gonna see a foul. Is that gonna be on Cruiser? I think they're gonna get Grant Nelson. Grant Nelson Let's go to Jay Elson. 
Yeah, fellas, talked to Paul Mills briefly as he was coming back out onto the floor. Said, uh, hey, your guys showed a lot of fight getting back into that game. Claw within nine here at the half. What adjustments did you need to make in the in this second half? And he said, we better guard. That's it. All right. Well, did you say got a guard or better guard? Which one was it? <laughs> Jurgens knocks down the first free throw and clanks off the other one. But Lufile, again, one of the best offensive rebounds in the nation. Could this be a four-point possession? No. Nelson battling for the rebound. Cruiser finally secures it. And you look at ORU, they continue to try to get a hand on there, and now we got a clock issue. And the shot clock never did start. And, uh, but you know, North Dakota State's got to make sure those gold jerseys are going nowhere until they know that that defensive rebound has been secured just because of the activity and the emphasis that ORU puts on the offensive glass. Mufile, 12 minutes in that first half. He does have six rebounds, but he has not scored so far tonight. Cook, pull up jumper, short. Seventh rebound for Lufile. It's kind of a rushed opportunity, not a ton of movement offensively. Easy to defend, defensively rebound. Aceness with space. Off the of mark again, and we're gonna get a tie up. Yes, Griesel came in, and the possession will go to North Dakota State. Cruiser having a tough time keeping Lou Lufile off the offensive glass. Well, he better be one of those where he goes, you know, don't turn and find the ball. Maybe one thing you better make sure is that one doesn't get the ball. Get a body into him. A lot of rebounders have a tendency just to turn and move towards the basket. Now we got Edie trying to take advantage of a mismatch on the block. Posting up McBride, much taller guard, left it short, got his own mess, back up, yes! And the foul! It's just Edie staying with it. We talked about it early. We saw NDSU's bigs put the ball in the deck and attack. Here they're starting the half by posting up the smaller defenders. Edie, the ability to stay with it, collect his own offensive rebound. Now a chance to complete the three-point play. Edie coming off a 15.8 rebound performance against Denver. And boy, did he play well on the defensive end as well. That's his first points in the contest so far here tonight. And he's on Aceness, it takes some energy. You see him sitting on Aceness's right hand. McBride, boy, sweet little crossover. He's busy to create space. And Aceness just goes right up, in control, smooth, silky. And he's got another deuce. I'm gonna go back to McBride's dribble penetration. That forced E to kind of come and help out. Cruiser from deep. Rocky Cruiser leads this team in three-pointers. Over 60 on the season. You go back to McBride. Cook's got to keep McBride in front of him because if people start helping off Aceness, that's difficult. That's a long night. Nelson and Cruz are both going after that defensive board. You have a couple of gold shirts fighting for it if you're David Richmond than taking anything for granted. Griesel iso it on Lufile. Crossing over, challenging, little teardrop off the window. I don't know what mode number five's in, but there's not many people can stay in front of him right now. Griesel's career high is 26. He's already at 23. No whistle as Lufile hits the deck. Aceness, kick out. Watsis hit a three in the first half. Almost misses everything as Cook tracks down the loose ball. That's where you want a quality possession for Dave Richmond. Put some extra pressure on ORU, make him work defensively. Nelson, spinning, wheeling, dealing, faking, missing. <laughs> That's a good look. It's a good look. If you're Dave Richmond, you'll take that possession you like to take by Grant Nelson. Oh, ace. Oh, that is sweet. Missed the jumper, still sweet. Lots is put back, no. Two pretty good opportunities there for Oral Roberts on that possession. The feeling right now is, is drained a little bit. He's still pushing himself up and down the floor, but this is where you'd like to maybe see if you can't get him isolated in some ball screen action. Excellent defense by Jurgens. Cruiser strong to the left. Blocked out of bounds with 10 on the shot clock. That was a good job by Lufile. Could have been called. Now they're going to get Kareem Thompson in for him. This is going to be a smaller lineup now for ORU. 
to go back to that greasel finish. How nice was that? Well, you talk to coaches at North Dakota State. Ufile's lateral quickness has improved so much in the last 12 months. It's unbelievable. Greasel trying to find an angle. Missed that one. Thompson coming in for the rebound. That was a tough one. Greasel had to get himself off the baseline to even get an angle on the glass. That Cruiser matched up on McBride right now. Edie wisely shifts onto him. Nelson. Not sure if it was blocked or just bothered. And then it was thrown away. Uh, that's just one you can't afford to, to give away for North Dakota State. Lead at 13. Oral Roberts just one of eight from the floor to start this half. You know, Western Illinois came out real fast last night in the second half with an 8-0 run. But ORU responded and pulled away for the 12-point victory. Good job of sitting down by Rocky Cruiser, not allowing Aceman to turn the corner on that ball screen. Cruiser challenging at the rim. Boy, still a good look for Jurgens. Just came off. And he was in transition. North Dakota State continuing to look. No help coming on. Nelson spinning and scoring. Excellent job. Weasel drops the pass down, and Nelson just feels the defensive pressure. Seven where to go. 7 0 run. The run stopper, Max Aismas. Up to 23 now for ORU. Aismas. He's in a volume shooting night, I will tell you that. He is going to not go down without a fight. Greasel to that left hand. Edie picks up the loose ball. Back up and scores. See, there's number three for North Dakota State. Great heads up play. Aceman step back three again. Oh, is that tough? This crowd, guess what? He's not going to stop at 21. The thing about him too, Greg, is he plays with great energy on both ends, and he plays every minute, almost every game. He does. He does. He's, a, he's, a, he's just a high level. College basketball player knows the game exceptionally well. Now you got back that zone look by ORU trying to keep North Dakota State off balance. Three to go to. Well, credit Bowden Scunberg, credit, credit Tyree Eady. Kind of a collective team effort, understanding how they want to defend and executing that defensive game plan, trying to take away one of the many strengths of number three for ORU. Nelson up to 18 for North Dakota State. Hanging around right around this 15 as Rocky Cruiser came to double hard. Yeah, he stayed on that ball screen double. Weaver, another offensive rebound. That's the 10th offensive board. A little helter-skelter here as Thompson pulls it back out. Phipps driving. And a foul is going to be called. And who's it going to be? You're going to get Greasel or Harden Hayes? I'm not really sure. It looks like they're going to go, yeah, Harden Hayes, I believe. Harden Hayes, the guy that went to the court, went to the ground in the corner trying to salvage it. Yeah, there you see the body as Phipps attacks. Well, Phipps, another guy that has been a solid three-point shooter, transferred from Oklahoma. 42% on the season, but again, another guy that has really cooled off late. Four of 16 from three-point range in his last seven games, and it's that secondary scoring for Oral Roberts. It's Ben McBride and Aceman, but somebody else is going to have to hit a couple of buckets here for the Golden Eagles. Yeah, they really are. And we saw you talked about it. Weaver did it last night. Back to the zone look for ORU. Some ball screen action. Can they get it inside? Nice job moving without the ball by Harden Hayes. Forces that zone to collapse. Nice ball fake by Greasel. Scunberg a three in the first half, and he's got another one here. How about Greasel using the ball fake to move the zone? Sets up the pass to Scunberg in the corner. Jurgens banging away with Greasel. Strong. Greasel defending without fouling down deep in the painted area. Man look now again for ORU. They're jumping back into it, switching a lot of the ball screen and dribble at actions. This is a smaller unit on the floor with Weaver essentially playing the five. Greasel taking down the smaller defender. Kick out Edie. Cruiser. Four on the shot clock. Jurgen steps in. Got it. It counts in the foul. 
that's a great job by Cruiser to attack. And when you watch Cruiser, as he gets to the rim, he doesn't go through the defender. He kind of slides off to the side, trying to avoid the contract contact. That's a great call because the defender actually moves into him. Jurgens, I believe, he kind of moves into him, brings the arms up as Cruiser's trying to avoid him. Excellent take by Cruiser, excellent finish. You've mentioned the lineup out there right now. Not a ton of size or length as Cruiser rolls it in. And just like that, the lead is back to 19 for North Dakota State. The Bison have made their last four shots from the floor. Lots is back in, Lufile back in. Full court pressure, trying to keep the ball out of Aismas' hands. Phipps attacking Edie, another block. That ties a season high with seven. Transition, North Dakota State. Good recognition by Griesel. Pulls it back out. Force, force ORU to defend. Morgan setting the screen for Griesel. Inside Morgan. Great look from Griesel. Griesel looked him off. Knew where he was going the entire time. Looked away, 8-0 run, North Dakota State pushing this to a 21-point lead. Friesel working on a triple-double, 23-7-7 so far here tonight. Lotsis, kick out, threw it away. Able to defend, value the ball. And ESU 15-4 in the Summit League Tournament under Dave Richmond. Ace is finally creating space, left it up for Lufile, puts it on the deck. Could not get it to drop. Boy, Oral Roberts has had some really good looks inside and nothing falling. And Lufile in particular has had some just close range opportunities, kind of short arm arming them. Andrew Morgan, put back oh, Harden Hayes. Harden hanging. Hayes, hanging is right. Elevating, hanging, catching, finishing. How long was he up there? A long time. How's that for, a, for an answer? <laughs> Aceman's cut off again. McBride, boy, Oral Roberts needs it. Let's go to Jay Elson. Well, fellas, uh, you, uh, one of the focal points defensively tonight clearly has been Elijah Lufile for North Dakota State. If you look at his line, zero points on zero of three shooting. And that last time out, David Richmond said three times to his guys, Lufile is in the game, bodies around him, bodies around him, bodies around him. Has not scored yet tonight. He's had a couple of offensive rebounds, and Oral Roberts has been active on the offensive glass, creating some second opportunities, but just not a lot of second chance points. McBride sliding inside. That's yeah, so good. And Edie, realizing he was beat, chose not to bail him out with a potential three point play opportunity. Smart play by the veteran. Make it difficult, but if it gets too easy, don't make it worse than it is. Cruiser calling for it. Weaver on him. Trying to hang. Cruiser blocked by Weaver. Great job defensively. Excellent job. Weaver with his length. Timed it well. Avoided the foul. Weaver, deep three. Missed everything. That's one of the things Weaver is capable of. We saw it in the quarterfinals yesterday. And even in the tournament last year, Greg, he was a big part of the successful Oral Roberts against both South Dakota State and North Dakota State in the tournament. 14 of 22 from the field. He had six three-pointers in the tournament. Yeah, you talked about that secondary score. Griesel realizes he's got Ace Masana and forces him into a foul situation. You do not see North Dakota State settle a lot for anything on the perimeter. It is just go to the rim. They have, they have not. I'm, I'm in agreement with you. Dave Richmond alluded to a couple of late possessions in the first half that kind of gave ORU some momentum where they did settle. I'm guessing he made a point at halftime to not be content and to stay in attack mode. Sam Griesel certainly has taken it to heart. Missed the second, Jurgens. Corrals the rebound. Still a lot of time. Ten minutes left in this game. Jurgens well defended by Cruiser. McBride. Boy, look at the handles on McBride. Edie staying right with him. And a turnover. How about Tyree Edie? 
You hit the nail on the head. McBride's got handles. E wouldn't let him get by him. Just kept him in front of him. This is an exceptional one-on-one -on -one defensive effort by Edie forcing the errant pass. Hastmiss on 26 points. He has four threes in this game. He tried to post up Skunberg. Good job by McBride to get to a front. And Griesel turns it over on the other end. Yeah, one of the very few poor plays that Griesel has made in this game. He's kind of lost control of that pass. Remember, Griesel has not been out nearing 30 minutes of game time to this point. A. Smith, boy, look at the hesitation and the take in for two. Tough. And that's where you get back to. We had watched him. They had they had come off that ball screen action and said, no, we're going to double. We're going to get the ball out of his hands. That time, poor execution. Loser driving. A. Smith's going to be called for that foul, I believe. He will. It's going to be the body foul. That'll be the third on E. Smith. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the second half. It's Cruiser on the line. Paul Mills trusts Aismas and knows that if he's going to close this deficit, Aismas is going to be a key part of it. The biggest thing for Oral Roberts, though, Greg, you have to at some point get some stops. Yeah, you do. But and, and this is to North Dakota State's credit and Dave Richmond's credit. He said, listen, do not settle. Do not settle. Continue to attack. Continue to keep your eyes up with the bounce. Set your teammates up. You can take threes as long as they're kick out threes after you've gotten into the paint. Cruiser knocks down both. Rocky up to 15 points. Luke Carton Hayes on McBride right now. Can he sit down? Bride <laughs> rising up right over Carton Hayes and hitting the three. Now that's what he can do, and you're going to have to measure that, gauge it. You don't want to bail him out with a foul, but. Cruiser with Aismas on. They're trying to clear it now. Good reaction as Jurgen Jurgens picks up Cruiser. Double came by Jurgens, and he was able to knock it out of Griesel's hands. Still 13 on the shot clock. Bison still shooting 58% from the floor. Plus seven on the glass. Cook checking back in. Sir Isaac Heron back in for ORU. Nelson sneaks inside. Nelson throws it down over Heron. Just a great job of recognition. Makes the catch first of all. Feels the defender. Spins back to his left shoulder. Aismith trying to answer. Step back three. Short. Oops. That is the third foul on Cruiser. Boy, that is a nasty step back by McBride. Missed the jumper. Well, these two guards, though, are something else, bro. Aismas and McBride are tough to handle. They absolutely are. They can keep defenders off balance so well. They can finish in traffic. They can elevate and knock it down from distance. Edie isolated on the smaller defender. Edie trying to keep his feet, muscling his way inside for two more. Taking advantage of the mismatch. Staying in attack mode if you're North Dakota State. 23-point lead for NDSU. Edie doing everything he can to stay with Aismas. Lotsis, another miss. Griesel continues to clean up on the defensive glass along with his NDSU teammates, trying to minimize those second shot opportunities. North Dakota State only two three-point attempts. But the, the defensive game plan execution for North Dakota State as Griesel misses off to the left with his first. They know, they, they know what it takes to win, especially against a high octane offense like ORU as Griesel goes 0 for 2 from the line. An area where Griesel's really improved, 77% on the season. Aismas almost lost it. Good recognition to get it back. Boy, Edie's done a good job trying to hang with him. Oh, he has now. He's matched up on McBride again. McBride leaving it short. Again, Oral Roberts has had some pretty decent looks, Greg. They're just not falling. They have. It's, uh, the length of North Dakota State will get in the minds of these guys when they get downhill and get close to the basket. We've seen, you talked about it, seven blocks to this point. It does start to register. Griesel again spinning back to that right hand. 
Well, not settling. Staying in attack mode. In the paint again. 26 for Sam Griesel. Ace miss kick out. Weaver or Roberts needs it. Ugh, another miss on a clean look from the outside. Well, and I thought Griesel did a good job. He took a jab towards Ace miss, say, I'm going to force Weaver to beat me with the perimeter shot rather than giving Ace miss a, a run to the rim. Good help, late recovery. Comes down with a defensive board. Cook with a step. Muscling inside, and Jarius Cook extends the lead to 27 increases the paint points on this 8-0 run by North Dakota State to 54 in the paint. Or oh, U.S. 56 in the game. McBride answers the run, hitting the three. They have 59 in the game. 19 for McBride, Ace Miss with 28. But again, nobody else has been able to get going. Jurgens one for five, Weaver one for five, Lotz is one for six. It's been tough. Aces and McBride have been kind of fielding the load as they get try to get one of their better three-point shooting lineups on the floor right now, realizing they've got to find a way to manufacture some offense. Cruiser with Aces on him. Good job by Aces, and Lotus comes flying in for the defensive board. 24-point game. If the comeback is going to come, it has to start now. Aces lane opens up, had it strip going up. Thompson clean look. That just didn't look like a very confident stroke. No, it didn't. And, and I, I just think it's credit to the defensive effort, the activity of North Dakota State. Nothing has come easy on the offensive end for ORU. Cook going to work on Aismas again. That's on good defense. Yeah, I think Aismas might have knocked it out of his hands. Cook lost control of it going up. Clock ticking down towards five minutes. McBride in and out. Look good coming off his hand. Jurgens bodied up by Edie, and he'll have the line for two. Good job defensively with just a more aggressive take by Jurgens. Third foul on Tyree Edie. Half for Oral Roberts. Yeah, man. I just, you just can't take anything away from the defensive effort. I just think they really made an effort to, to take some certain things away from ORU as Mr. Aismas goes to the bench. First time he's been out of the game. You mentioned it. Now you got a little full, full court pressure. And Oral Roberts, 38% on the season from three point range tonight, just 9 of 27. And Aismas. Has a majority of those. Edie running the point now with, with Griesel on the bench. It's probably not a bad idea to get him some work there in case you need it in the next game situation. The foul's going to be called on Thompson on that drive. And one and one. I like the recognition by Cook. You got ORU really getting up into people defensively. He uses the dribble as a pressure release, forces the foul call, gets himself to the line. Stayed in the bonus the rest of the way. Jarius Cook, second on the team in three pointers coming into this tournament. Just a couple of threes in his last four games coming in, but one of the things about Dave Richmond, who's really been impressed with Jarius Cook throughout the years, is he's not let his offense affect his defense and vice versa. That has been was kind of an issue as he first got here. He's really improved, though, on the defensive end. Well, you got those guys that were really offensive minded in high school. There's the kick and the three point attempt. Cook gets on the glass. You look at Cook. How do you earn your way on the floor? You look at Skunberg, how do you earn your way on the floor? You better be trusted on the defensive end. That's what will keep you on the floor. Both those guys have learned that. Cook! Oh! Jarius Cook getting into the act. The lead up to 26 again. Phipps, no. Four oh three to go, and North Dakota State closing in on another tournament championship game berth. We can kind of see that open up from our angle, Brian. And once he caught that, it was on the curl action. You knew what was going to happen next. The junior from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. 
Andrew Morgan will check in. Nelson does get it into Cook. Double does come. Heron with McBride. Excellent job using the pivot. Morgan! Just laid it in. Excellent recognition by Nelson, but go back to Cook. Uses the pivot, splits the double team, gets it to Nelson. Nelson up ahead to Morgan. Excellent execution. Phipps, no. 28-point lead, largest of the night for North Dakota State. And the Bison will be moving on to the Summit League Tournament Championship game against South Dakota State. Edie swatted by Heron. I shouldn't say that. Towards the end of the first half, ORU closed the gap. Acemas McBride kind of got going. But boy, the start to that second half by NDSU really shut that down. McBride short again. This feels eerily similar to what happened defensively in Fargo a couple of weeks ago. Oral Roberts just could not get rolling. Good recognition by NDSU. Pull it out, but stay in attack mode. They're going to get up and pressure. Use the dribble if you can. E double comes. Turned over, Jurgens with the steal. A few mistakes by E again. And Jurgens coast to coast for the deuce. Oh, using the continue to pressure full court. Haven't gone into foul mode at this point in time. Now they're going to drop back out of it. Again, North Dakota State not really forced to do it with Griesel playing the meaningful minutes at point guard. But here is Tyree Eady with the ball in hand here with Griesel on the bench. Exactly. I think it's good. Get some of their bodies some rest if possible. They'll all be ready to go tomorrow. Stolen by Phipps, reading it and cruising in for two. Just a, an inexperienced mistake by Morgan that time. He tries to make this pass with his back to the basket. What he's got to do is catch, face up, have vision of all the defenders. Just an inexperienced mistake. We haven't seen a ton of those today. Dave Richmond calls a timeout just to substitute quickly. And Willie Guy into the tournament for the first time. Guy. Transfer from Des Moines Area Community College. Paul Mills also doing the job. He gets McBride out of the game. They're both emptying their bench. Straight in from Morgan. North Dakota State will take on South Dakota State. Boy, those two have had some memorable battles over the years. They have. This is gonna, it's, it's gonna be two really good basketball teams. And we'll go back to the regular season. NDSU and South Dakota State probably separated by about five possessions total, if that's fair, maybe four. Andrew Coleman, the transfer from Northern States. Josh Strike also into the game for North Dakota State. Played a big role when Andrew Morgan was injured. Earlier in the season, played in 15 games. Lock ticks under two minutes. Guy with the penetration, kick back. Guy for three. Nope. Clover, another freshman in for the rebound. Plett also in the game. Bergens for ORU. And the three knocked in. Great story. Zachovic. Dave Richmond going to get two more bodies in. Probably send Scunberg to the bench. Harden Hayes. Yeah. Two more of the walk ons. Olderada and Grayson Heyman. Heyman. The quarterfinal win against Denver. His first bucket of the season. A three pointer yes. on the wing. Yeah, they all deserve to play in this environment. Great fan support down here in Sioux Falls. They love their college basketball without question. Yes, you will probably have to get a couple more shots up. Coleman attacks, gets the ball knocked away. Seven on the shot clock. Boy, two impressive performances by the top two seeds. Rada rattles it in. Great execution on the baseline, out of bounds. For Dave Richmond, you love the fact you got some bench guys in there. They're still executing at a high level. 
Bergens, little fade away, gets on the scoreboard. That magical run from Oral Roberts one year ago. A couple of late victories, one against South Dakota State, one against North Dakota State, a very memorable run to the Sweet 16. I think Dave Richmond's going to take any more shots. He's going to take the turnover. Give the ball back to Oral Roberts. <laughs> Coleman gives it to the freshman, so he has to get the turnover. <laughs> That was by design. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Coleman did not want that going on his statistical line. <laughs> it's a veteran move, mate. Bergens fires up the three and five straight for Bergens off the bench. Inbounder to Coleman. He'll hold it. And North Dakota State, a 20-point victory.